So you want to create barcodes in Microsoft Excel. Now your first step is to download a barcode font. I'll leave a couple of links in the description of this video to websites that offer these fonts. But the one we're going to use in this video is by idautomation.com. And you can download a free version by clicking on this button here, download now. Now, once you've downloaded your font, it will appear in the downloads folder and the font is contained within a zip folder. So you need to extract the contents of the zip folder by right clicking on it and then selecting extract all. I'm just going to extract it to the same downloads folder. So this is the contents of the zip folder. I'll go into this folder here and there are my fonts. So I'm going to right click on this one and click on install. And then I'll go back to Excel. Now back in Excel, you should see the font that you've just installed in your font list. However, if it doesn't appear there, try closing Excel down and reopening it. Now, when you add the numbers for your barcodes, they must be stored as text. Otherwise you'll get one of two problems. The first problem is it will try and store your barcode numbers in scientific format. And that's where we get this E plus and then a number. The other issue is where your barcode number starts with a zero. If I try and store that value as a number, it will get rid of the leading zero. Now, both of those issues are sorted out if before you enter your numbers, you apply the text format to the cells. So select the cells, then go up to this drop down on the Home tab. And right at the bottom is the option for text. You'll then find that it will store the numbers properly without the scientific format and it will retain the leading zeros. Now, if you don't like these little green warning triangles, you can select all the cells, go up to this triangle warning button and ignore the error. Now to create the barcodes, what we have to do is surround these numbers with brackets. And we're gonna do that in another column. To surround the numbers with brackets, we have to write a little formula. So we start with an equal sign and then we put in our open bracket. Now an open bracket is a text value so it has to be enclosed in speech marks. And then we need to join that open bracket to the number in column A. And to join it, we use the ampersand symbol. I select the number, then put in another ampersand and enter a closed bracket. I can then apply my font, my newly installed font, and I'll get the barcode. If I copy this down by double clicking on this little green square, I'll get the barcodes for the other numbers. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.